please, will you forgive your husband or boyfriend if he cheats? That's not my lane. Oh. I'm kind of ashamed to say it. Like, if he cheated, that's it. You know, you know, that's it. And that's some people's mentality. But I've seen relationships where people, you know, the next day they're they're bounced back and oh, we're good. We're you know we're doing this together. And I'm like, wait, like what happened? You know, and I'm like, I can never say what I would do in that situation. And it's scary to think. You know what you'd have to do, the way you'd have to react, and the measures you'd have to take. But I just don't know. For do me, yeah. if I put myself in that situation, I I've been cheated on, and I think I knew while it was happening, but because I was so naive and so caught up in our relationship, I let it slide because I just felt like I didn't want to know, even though I knew. And then it blew up in my face. So I think now the person I am today, mm -hmm. I value my worth a lot more mm -hmm. than what I did before. So if I was in that situation, knowing that I am a queen, mm -hmm. so yes, you if yes. I Lady. find out that you cheat on me, then you're not worth my being in my presence anymore. Mm -hmm. So I think I would walk away from that situation. And that's from a boyfriend's um, point of view or a husband's point of view? It would be really hard for me to get over if that was my husband as well. For sure, that's a boyfriend's point of view. My husband, I think, if we're going before God and we're mm. putting our vows out there and we're looking at each other eye to eye, we're in front of my family, I I expect you to respect me a certain kind of way. If my family's involved, if you're dedicating yourself to me and devoting your love to me, and you cheat on me, I might have to reconsider my choices with you. And I, I and my father, he passed away, and I just can go off from he would never want me to tolerate that. Period. So mm, that's a strong point. Never want me to tolerate that. Period. From a daddy who passed away, my dad also passed away, and that's something that got brought us very close together as friends. Um, um, because our daddies loved us a lot. And he, they also showed us what it means to be loved by a man. So we didn't need to get that love from a man. You know what I'm saying? So um, I don't need the exception. I don't need a man to tell me that I'm beautiful. I don't need a man to tell me whatever. Because our dad, my daddy did that. And so, mm. whew. And that's why the struggle of my daddy being how he was, mm -hmm. was such a big deal. And so, um, Boyfriend wise, hell no. <laughs> That's not even a question. Excuse my French, no. no. Hell no. Like, I'm not putting up with no dude messing around on me that's not my husband. And I have to be very clear about that when I say husband because as a woman of God, and although I'm not perfect when it comes to that, I am perfect in loving Jesus and him loving me. So I don't need approval from nobody for that. But what I know is, when, like she said, you go before God, you make a promise, you do all these things. And I'm an older woman. I'm not a 21-year-old woman getting married. I haven't been with somebody for 13 years from high school and getting married with this person because I think it's different as opposed to being adults and mm -hmm. living your life mm -hmm. and having an opportunity to be free. I've always struggled with this. And I'm not content with my husband cheating on me. My husband cheated on me. <laughs> I've always said this to them dudes part, so just know that we are gonna be on the TV show. If <laughs> you cheat on me, it's gonna be some first 48 story. Because I'm not with that. <laughs> it is till death do us part, and that might be the reason to separate. Um, so I just recommend not doing that. But to be clear, I think when you make that commitment of marriage, you better come through that chick in her face <laughs> if she try to come up on you. Because you have kids, you have a legacy that you're looking to build. You don't at 30 plus. Yeah. You don't have to get married. Let me just put, let me just put this like little nugget here now. I, I just saw this interview that um, Denzel did a while back, and he was mm -hmm. saying how much he loved his wife. And um, I don't remember who was a reporter, but she addressed the case saying like, I just hope you know I see how you speak about your wife. I just hope that 10 years from now you guys are not divorced. You know, he was like, and he said this. He said. I will never divorce her. I will never leave her. She might leave me, but I will never leave her. And he was, she was like, what do you mean? And he was like, well, there's temptation out there. And I'm not perfect, but we did this together. I'm never leaving her. And in that moment, I understood that 
he could have stepped out of his relationship and it was but just, they don't want you to leave him but, no, but he was not going to leave her for another one and it was up to her to leave but that's the hold on, and I know we going long on this episode. It's this fine because it's intense. But this is the thing about that because I, and I've experienced it based on, and I won't go into any kind of detail because it's not my life. But I've seen people stick through infidelity. That's the serious situation. Because yeah. it's like you're expecting a woman. Because I'm a woman first, okay? Mm -hmm. I love my brothers. I love my men that I love a lot. But like as a woman. I know what it feels like to feel like you're not worthy and you're not beautiful mm. enough. And no matter what you do to yourself, no matter how much you try to be perfect for this person, you can't be enough for them to not step out on you. And yeah, men are men, whatever people want to say, but it hurts and it's not easy to get over that. So I'm not okay with the man because you can't keep your penis in your pants for that moment because you don't love the woman that you let give you head. You don't love the woman that you let sleep with you for the night because she worked with you. You just did it because it was feeling good at the time. It's bull crap. And it's an excuse and it's bull crap. Mm -hmm. And you willing to sacrifice everything a woman's been with you for 10, 15, 20 years for the sake of a bus and a... It is, it's weak. It's being weak. And I get that. I'm being it, real. Because like, it's like they don't, I gotta they don't, they don't say, acknowledge. It's like when a man comes and he said, oh, that was just what it was. It was nothing. Yeah, it's, it's nothing, nothing more. But it's nothing it's more. But it's like... Yeah. I, as a woman, even if we would do that to a man, it's like, it, I cannot, like, their pride, never their ego. <laughs> is, as a man, I feel like their pride and their ego is so fragile that it's They'll like, leave you, you, go cannot, with somebody else. you cannot, they will not be able to process wow. how your women allow another man to be in her and to, and to be yeah. intimate with her because yeah. it's like, it's like, was I not enough men for you? Like, there's just question, and that, but mess, and, that, and that really affects your self-esteem as a woman, as a man, to know that your partner went with another person, was intimate with another person, made love to another person. That's those are things that that really affect your emotions. It's too much. You know? it's, I'm not ready for that. I'm not, and that's why I'm a little bit afraid. And this is way too much transparency. Why is childish? Um, <laughs> I'm a little bit afraid of marriage because that is to me an ultimate betrayal in my eyes. Um, because I don't, when I decide to say yes, it's gonna mean something. And it's like, damn, you know what I mean? Like, and it could be Susie up the street, but it to you is Susie up the street. To me, this was it's what we built, yeah. you know? And it's not and okay. To you, it's like, oh, it was Susie up the street. The point it was Susie on the street. <laughs> yeah. was Susie. You what was she doing? Like communicate with the person. Yeah. If you feel like at this time you might be stepping out, what can somebody like half the conversation right. with your spouse? Right. I feel like this is a topic for another day that we might address. It's like I really dislike how some men are really open with those side women of what they want to be doing intimately, but with their wife, they don't want to taint their wife. But it's like, but you marry this woman and you should give yourself in every type of way, but you don't want to treat this woman like, why you want to go score with Susie down the street? Who like, could be bringing back clap. Yeah, you don't know like, what she got. It's like, it should be, you should be comfortable with who you were, you're with. Like, that's who you should be exploring. Yeah. But no, I, I won't do that with my wife. What, what is you? What doing? is that? Like, that's, that's, the, the, what, that's the mother of my kids. No, like, it's like, it's like you're not okay with doing some like intimate stuff with the mother of your kids, but you're okay with cheating to the mother of your kids. To possibly lose her. And, and lose like her in the process. Dumb. It's yeah, I, I thought about it myself, and I'm like, a, a boyfriend definitely not been there, done yeah, that. Um, you, they don't get those. A husband, so for the uh, record, uh, do it. <laughs> a husband, I don't know. I will have to. Uh, it's hus it is it's hard to like put. I, I'm, I'm, I haven't been there, um, but I know that as time passes, you build. A life together, and, and I don't think I would and, and, leave my husband. And things change, and it's, it, it probably will be very difficult to get things back on track. But because um, there's gonna be some like you know, Beyonce breaking glasses, breaking cars. This is gonna be like I'm gonna be honest. This yeah. is like breaking cars. I will probably what you guys said earlier about the reason why women cheat. I can tell you right now. I would only, I wouldn't want to leave my husband, but I would want the revenge. 
And I would want to do it back thinking about like, Honestly, I'm thinking, I'm that's something that the petty person in my head. Oh, I have like, to say that's I'm what always I'm saying like, try me. Try me. You try me, and you do not understand this list that I'm going to pull out. Yeah, I just feel like, and it will only be to do it back, because I don't want to break our marriage, but I would want you to feel what I feel. Just because I know that's the kind of hurt I would feel, because I would be devastated. Like, yeah. seriously, yeah. that would hurt me a lot. Yeah. And I would want you to feel that pain. Even if I, it could be somebody I never thought twice about looking at, you know, I would never, but just so you could know what it feels like. Because it's a, it's just hurtful. And all I would think is, why couldn't you just be strong enough temporarily so that you don't have to let me feel this pain? Mm -hmm. That's what I would be thinking. Well, ladies, <laughs> thank you very much. Well, guys, it was, it was, it's been happy. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, guys. This has been The Secret Conversation. My name is Isadora. Make sure to come and like, subscribe. There's going to be so many topics that we're going to be addressing. Topics that you want us to talk about, make sure to write them on the comment. Be sure to